First responders in small Tyler County community have a large void to fill. A collision damaged one of two brush trucks used by the Warren Volunteer Fire Department. KFDM's Ashley Gaston reports firefighters will have to replace it. This red fire truck is behind a fence, locked up, its side crumpled. It's not something anybody ever wants to do. Uh, it's a pretty scary situation. Warren Assistant Fire Chief Jimmy Molum is prepared for almost everything as a volunteer firefighter, but he didn't expect what happened Tuesday night. Unfortunately, something that happens, uh, you know, you, you think of things that you could have done differently but didn't. You can't change it at this point. The department was responding to a car fire near the intersection of FM 1943 and County Road 4455. The driver of the brush truck was supposed to take a right hand turn at this dead end, but overshot the roadway. That's when the assistant chief was following him, but tried to squeeze in between the brush truck and the street sign to make a right hand turn. Unfortunately, he T-boned the brush truck. A volunteer firefighter in the assistant chief's truck suffered a fractured collarbone. Molum is sore from his back down. Last night was pretty sleepless trying to rethink it, thinking what I could have done different. And Molum said he became a volunteer firefighter to help the community, but now the most valuable and most efficient truck is totaled. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But they're not waiting long. The volunteers will host a fundraiser to raise some of the $80,000 for a new truck. In Warren, Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. And the department welcomes any donations to help the fire department replace that truck. $80,000 is a lot for a regular fire department, much less a volunteer fire department. Exactly.